that guy there's more than both of us in that guy's dining in the street when she smiles so it seems when she smiles we seem to be well, I am walking down the hill And if I'm honest, it is quite awful, and this really fucking hurts. And me bitching about it on here is somewhat helpful to get me down the fucking hill. Oh my god. So I'm going back for PT today. And then I'm coming home and I'm gonna do some laundry, I'm gonna do some packing. And then I'm going to get the fuck out of here and go out to the desert. I'm contemplating sending all my packages that need to go out at the old post office I used to go to out there. The one that um, P.O. Box 3054, the chapbook, is about. So I'm kind of looking forward to that and seeing JT um, and just seeing all the same people because all those people have been doing the same thing for as long as they've been alive. So going out there and seeing that would be kind of cool. So I don't know, like I'm thinking about doing that. Oh, this is fucking killing, man. Oh, shit. I should have just fucking got an Uber. This is fucking stupid. But anyway, so I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> and then I had a thought on how the Bloodshed review is going to go. And I think I know how I'm going to do it. And... Oh, that's fucking gross. Good God. Oh, that's not great. Uh, should I just go? I think I might just go. There's some action. So, um, some dude was puking next to a car, and it was all orange and nasty, <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure it splattered up on my leg, so I'm not excited about that. Um, gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> it's fucking gross, dude. Oh, fuck me. <sighs> but yeah so as far as the bloodshed review goes I think what I want to do is have one chapbook in the middle with like 10 poems from someone and then two other poets with like like five poems each in the front and in the back and then I'll do a little editorial and talk about um, the poems and the poets and shit so we'll see the elevator's still broken in the parking garage. And I don't know if I could do the stairs. But I guess we'll try it out. Uh, okay, so left to right. <laughs> 
is how we'll do this. Oh, that's not bad. I can do it. It's a fucking hell, man. That was brutal. Hey, I don't know what that sound is. If you guys can hear it, tell me what it is. Ever since I was down at the beach and that shit went down, I'm not saying it's because of that, but that's when it happened. Whenever I'm coasting, there's this horrible rattle. But if I'm driving, everything's fine. I need to cut that part of my beard off. It's freaking me out. So yeah, so I want to do like a chapbook in the middle have like two other poets in there. I was gonna go four, but I think I'm just gonna go three. Like one with a chapbook and a couple, two other people, just so I could keep the cost down, like the price down too. And that way I could either pay everybody up front or do like a royalty split on the chapbook versions. But anyway, so I'm excited about the magazine. So I, I think it'll be really cool and I'm gonna try to keep it small so I like don't have to charge more than like five bucks for it. Cause like I feel like the whole idea about it is to bring awareness and um, let people see these poets. And then I think I'm gonna do like different colored paper on the inside. And then I also want to do like a different cover, like different cardstock. And I kind of want to have like bigger cardstock, like that um, one scene I got um, from like 1970, whatever. Um, so instead of it being like eight and a half by 11 and a half, it was like, um, it was probably like 11 and a half by like 13 and a half or something like that. It was just a little bit bigger to like really hold all that paper in. But at the same time, I also want to use it as its own envelope kind of thing. Like Regina did with bookworms. I've been wanting to do that forever. So um, I may do that. Did I just run a red light? I think I just ran a red light. Fucking pay attention, dude. Ugh. As you can tell, this is my excited face. I'm hoping I get out of here and get a good fucking parking spot so I don't have to fucking like walk back to the fucking parking garage. And I guess that's it. It's just some stuff to talk about. So maybe next time you see me, I'll either be back in the car or I will be in the desert.
I look rough as fuck. <sighs> I am relaxing a little bit. Everything seems to be okay, but I, I'm i not like hungover, like I have a headache or anything like that. I haven't been sick or anything like that. I just feel fucking wrecked. So um, I'm going to make a Bloody Mary and go outside. And I got special stuff for the Bloody Mary. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be good. So, all right. You need Wooster. Come on, get off me. Wooster, one, two, oh. You need it, you need it, you need it, you need it. There's a lot of static out here. <clears throat> It's making everything stick. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four. Look at these shakers. They're adorable. There's a one. The vodka. And, uh, so that's like what our mixture is at the bottom there. We'll go. Uh, that should be okay. Now, let's get the fun stuff. We're gonna marinate some bacon at the bottom of this Bloody Mary. I'm even gonna put some salami in there. A couple little rolls like that. A couple little rolls like that. Look at how cute that is. That's adorable. We're gonna put the best beef jerky in the world, Sweet Baby Ray's, sweet and spicy. I'm gonna put some of that in there. that much should do it mr. And mrs. T's bold and spicy I think is the best I'm gonna, you know, I am a huge fan of celery a lot of people are and it's amazing because not only is it tasty but you can stir your drink with it and that's all anybody wants you know, let's be real. I'm gonna do a little bit of water. And there you go. This is the best damn Bloody Mary in the world. Oh my God, you know what we forgot? Some fucking tahini, dude. I'm gonna put that all over the top and put it down the celery. Oh my God, that's so cool. Gorgeous. Taste test. Oh my God, I want to have sex with that glass. I don't know if you can see him. I could barely see him. He's up there trying to like out bench press me. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.